what's going on, everybody. Welcome to episode 16 of our last year of career mode, and today we start season 2. This will probably be our last season, considering FIFA 20 comes out in, what is it, 16, 15-ish days. And uh, we're probably going to get through a whole season in about that amount of time. So this is the last one um, before we move on to our Watford and our Trophy Hunter career modes to start FIFA 20. But... We're going to jump on into this. We are going to go all out this year. We'll take a look at the squad. And as you can see, Immobile is still going to be out. What we we He got hurt on the last day of the season, which was at the end of May. And he was supposed to be out for five months, which is a obviously a huge problem. So we went all of June. It looks like we're going to go all of July and most of August. So we'll probably get him around somewhere in here, which is... A bit of a shame. He was the highest scorer in the league last year, and it's going to be a little bit of a miss. But we were speaking last episode about what we wanted to do, and what I was leaning toward um, was this. And then f where Lucas is finding a really good attacking midfielder, and then finding a really good left winger. And that's probably how we were going to go about things. There are plenty of players here that we were looking to get rid of. A lot of players who have come back from loan. Um, Mergia, we are going to keep around. Um, Parola will move on. Bedelli will look like we're going to move on. Uh, Dermisi, Berisha, Rossi, uh, Radu is probably going on. Palambi, um, Spricati, I believe. Uh, Casasola, um, De, Genero, uh, De Genero here. He's... He gets okay, and he's a bit older. Um, it's Merju who gets pretty decent in football manager here. Anderson's going to go. Kishna's going to go. And we are going to go ahead and bring in, ideally, a left winger and an attacking midfielder, and then a a backup, backup kind of center back. Um, just an extra center back to have around just in case we have some sort of an injury crisis. So we're going to go take a look at our transfer hub. For those wondering, there probably won't be any games this episode because we'll be doing a little bit of this. Um, we're thinking attacking midfielders. Um, there are a lot of expensive ones on here, unfortunately. <laughs> um, players we can't really afford. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, we're not going to be able to afford. Ziyech, who's just joined, um, not going anywhere. Van de Beek could be a pretty good one. Almiron is a decent one, but it says he's just joined, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's an absolute shame, because he was the one I was leaning toward. And then Sabitza... Um, at Leipzig, we are going to spend most of our money at this position, and then we've got a couple here um, at left wing. Alexis Sanchez, who's 30, but we're only here for a year. Um, someone like Alexis Sanchez could be pretty good for the season. Um, Iwobi, I don't really rate him too much in real life, but in FIFA, is a nice player. Um, Guedes, who can play a variety of different positions and can play striker, which is kind of good for considering Immobile will be out for a while. Brahimi's a decent one. And then Carrasco. I was try I was thinking about Carrasco and Almiron, but we're probably going to go um, Van de Beek or Savica. There are plenty of um, different things we can go here. I'm thinking probably Sabitza. Van de Beek will be the backup. Um, and then Carrasco, if I can. The problem with Carrasco is he is also decent amount of money here Sabitza um, hopefully we can get for lower than you would think so ideally Sabitza and um, Carrasco would probably be a good one um, and then we have plenty of center backs here that we're just trying to bring in someone who could just back us up someone cheap hopefully um, and we shall see a couple of Italian or an Italian Louis Dunk the Englishman and then Hooray the French player, and then these are all from last year, though there are some players we can look at at Cam. The problem is we need some players that are ready to roll right now. So unfortunately, we don't have too much here. How much would he cost? 43 million is not a ton. He'd probably be a good one to bring in, really, if this were holding on for a little bit longer, but nothing crazy at the moment. So let's go forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to go forward just a little bit, see if we can get some offers in for some players we're trying to move on. You can go ahead and do the training as well. And then, um, you know, hopefully we can get the players we like. Um, I don't know. I'm, I cannot believe Almiron's thing is like that. 
that doesn't make any sense to me that it says he's just joined the club. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and hopefully we can get some money from this as well. This is the one with the most money, though this is the one we have the better chance of winning. So we'll go with this one. It's only 200000 less, but a bigger odds of winning the whole thing. Hopefully City get knocked out early. Um, we won't meet them to the final. So let's go ahead and add some training on here. Players who are going to be very, very important this time around. Chiesa, um, Tenali, Kochu. Hmm. All right, so we'll add a couple for now. We'll go with Chiesa. Um, move on from the dribbling. We don't need that necessarily. What about shooting? <sighs> yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? Um, Chiesa. Carousel is probably going to leave. Kochu, Tenali. Um, Tenali, we can work on his def defensive portion there. And then we can go ahead and work on Kochu. We can work on Kochu, who's going to get a decent amount of game time. Work on that. And then maybe one more here. Do we force in? Do we? We can bring Brewster in. Yeah, we'll try Brewster because he's going to be playing a little bit toward the start of the year here. We'll just uh, up his finishing a little bit and um, start this up. We'll just skip that last one until we bring a player in and maybe add him to that, and we'll see what happens there. But let's go forward just a little bit, and hopefully we can get some money here. Transfer budget increase. What for? Stop, 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 stop. Transfer offer from Marusic, who's not going anywhere. Reject. He goes nowhere. The Montenegro International. Shonen Iwobi. 20 million is not super expensive. Oh, see, that's already... We already had that budget increase. It's from this year, which is a bit of a shame. Um... So yeah, 55 million, 145,000 in wages. We'll see. Hopefully we can go through this without any injuries. Obviously Immobile can't get through it. But hopefully no more major ones. Every once in a while we uh, kind of get some awkward ones, which is a bit of a shame. So hopefully nothing happens here. Brewster is going to be the one to play. 3-0, good victory, and no injuries, which is very much what we'd like to see. Going forward, we've got City next, as well as some training here. I'm hoping to get in some offers on a lot of the players we've put up. Hopefully we can raise like 15-ish million on the players we've put up for sale. Ideally, would be great. Um, we shall see. And an offer for Barisha... 8.8 .8 million. Let's delegate this really quick and see if we start at 12 and don't accept anything less than 8.8. .8. Hopefully we can get a decent chunk there. Then I underestimated how much he was worth. He didn't play at all for us last year. Um, so that's actually a really good start to this should we go ahead and get that. So auto replace. Um, they drew with Bournemouth. If we beat them here, there's a genuine chance they'll be knocked out, which would be awesome. 1-1 one, one is not too bad either. Correa with the goal. Hopefully they get knocked out, and then Bruges knocked them out. Ideally, that would be awesome. As you can see, here we are here. There's a genuine chance, though, if we don't beat Bournemouth or get any points from Bournemouth, we will be knocked out, which would be awkward. Um, transfer offer for Wallace, no way. Everton for Radu, and then Rossi f as well. So let's take a look here. Um, we'll just accept that offer. Not going to fuss over a couple hundred thousand. Wallace is going nowhere. And then Radu. Can I delegate this just a little bit? Let's see if we can get just a touch more. Um, he's currently negotiating as well. So hopefully Rossi will go out, and um, then we'll be able to really 
move on a little bit. That I mean, that's a decent amount of money here. We're going to get 20 million right off the bat after we those two go through, should they go through. Um, we can probably go for Sabitza and see what we have left over. That would be a good place to start. Best thing about Sabitza, too, is he can also play out wide, which is a really, really nice thing to have on a player. Um, we... Oh God, I really hope we don't lose this. Then we'll go out. Bruges are up on City. We're up on Bournemouth, which is great. This is making me nervous. This is a lot of money at stake, and huge if if they go out, and they've missed a penalty there. City are still not level. They're 2-0 behind, and we're 2-0 up. Okay, 3-0, and they beat... Oh, God, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome that they're out. I know we're playing first team, and they're kind of, you know, but it may, still makes me nervous a little bit. Um, agreement for Radu sale at 7.7, .7, which is good, and an agreement as well for Barisha. Um... 10.4 which is very very good did we get an, a bigger offer than that or I, or I went up to 12 that's probably what I did or I hope I don't know um, but and we also got 2 million from there which is really good so let's go in for Sabitza right now and uh, hopefully we can bring him in at 32 32 and 46 is what we're looking at here is valued at 27. I'm going to probably bid around 28 um, or 29. Hopefully bring him in here. Offer transfer fee. 29. We'll bid 29 and see what they say. They want 46. Um, so we'll counter. Propose new transfer fee. 46. What if I go down to 33? see what happens here 46 Ugh. okay we'll try again what about 37 37 oh we're going to need some more time Ooh, not great not what I needed there um, okay so we'll see what they say they reject it we can still go in for them I'm pretty sure or ideally we can go in for them we got athletic in the semi-final um, Spercazzi. Oh, they have accepted it at 37. That's awesome. And Spercazzi will let him go at 3.35. Supposed to get anywhere between that and uh, 3.5. So that's not too bad. Then we can go ahead and have this accepted, which is awesome. What are we doing here? I'm not. Neg I'm negotiating his contract, right? Perfect. Crucial. Accept. It's a strange jump, Leipzig to Lazio. We only need him for a little bit. Four years is fine. His current wage is 62000 Which is, you know, it is what it is. Oof, Jesus, where are we going with the millions here, folks? Can we go to 60? And then a signing bonus of 700k, perhaps? Fair offer. Perfect. Slight wage cut. And we've bought in the attacking midfielder we've wanted to bring in, which is awesome. Once those two players leave, what are we left with here? 18 million. Not bad. Maybe we can maybe we can find a way to bring in Carrasco. I didn't think we'd actually find a way, but perhaps we are going to find a way to do that. So we're gonna bring him onto the bench. I get rid of Co. Oh, Prato for now. And then Lucas here. So Sabitza, a new attacking midfielder, very much what we wanted. And we're in a pretty good spot here. Not too bad at all. So let's go forward just a little bit. Hopefully beat Athletic here. Get some more money. Can we bring in the extra $5 million or so that's left? Anderson with a bid. Benevento, who I believe we play in the Cup. We're going to accept that. It's very close to his... Um, what we should be getting for him, which is good. That's another million. A bit of wage. No injuries, please. We'll see. Hopefully we can beat them here. They've got an injury early. Do I just sim forward? I'll sim forward if we score first. 
I'm very nervous. Just any kind of money, yeah, 2-0, perfect. No injuries either, which is great. Off to the final. Um, but yeah, anything that doesn't give me, that gives me a little bit extra money is awesome. As they have, oh, you know what, I can bring Sabitza in here. Because Carrasco is definitely not going to need any help. Well, Sabitza doesn't need any help either, actually. So we'll do Tenali. And uh, see if we can get his all-around game all the way up, which would be great. And he can fly up and maybe have, well, he's going to have a pretty decent um, playing time this year. Probably a little bit more than he would like. Oh, Rossi's not going anywhere, which is a shame. Dermisi with an offer, 8.5 million. That is a nice sum right there. We can get up to 9.3. We'll delegate um, 10.5. Let's try this and see if we can get that in. Prize money, 3.1 million-ish. Lukaku's upset because he's not playing in the in the preseason tournament. Well, I mean, that's that's I guess that's sort of fair considering we should all play everybody in the tournament, but you know. Um, Andreas Pereira, Anderson sold, Spercati sold, Barisha sold. Very nice. Um, He's not going anywhere, Mergia. I'd like to have him around just in case. Um, scout reports coming in. Radu is sold as well. So we got a couple of players sold there. Let's see what that money is. Okay, 39 million as well as 89k in the wage budget, which not bad and hopefully we can get another 3 million here be up to 42 it's up between 44 and 55 um ish 9.9 .9 million here so we are going to get close well we're going to be around that 48 million mark if we win this game here and Dermisi goes and that would be a really nice spot to be in considering how much Carrasco is going to go for hopefully they don't push 55 million um, we're going to have to check what his wages are, too. And we won 2-0. No injuries. A perfect preseason tournament. That's what we wanted there. And we have done rather well for ourselves. Um, should I say so. And Brewster, going forward as well, up to 67. He's going to get a little bit of playing time, as we said, coming forward here. So hopefully we can get Carrasco in, and our team would be in a really good spot going forward. Um, 3.5 million, thank you. Everyone's complaining, but no one is being forced out, so it's fine. Um, so let's take a look at the... Well, we'll wait for Dermisi to go. And then we'll take a look at how much money we actually have. We're in a good spot. In a better spot than I would have... And I was kind of hoping. I thought we were going to have a little bit tougher time. Kind of maneuvering our way around here, but... Working out really, really well. Kishna, he's got an offer to come in as well. We're just going to accept that at 5.2. Dermisi's gone. Interest showed in Sander Burge. I'm just going to let that roll. Do some of the training, and it looks like we are going to be in a really good spot to hopefully bring Carrasco in, bring him back from China. And Sabitza and, Carrasso and Carrasco is a really, really good mix. Um, two players, a bit of pace, which we'd love to inject into this team here. Um, 11 million. I'm probably not going to spend that. But Delhi as well is going to leave. Um, delegate. They have a little bit of money. So we'll try and delegate that off. I forgot about him and I forgot about Parolo as well. Huh. We're going to have a little bit more, more money than I thought. I've underestimated some of these. Um, 50 million here. We're going to wait so another player or two goes before we go after Carrasco, just so we have the money. Um, a transfer offer for Palombi. Um, we're just going to accept that one. And this is going much, much smoother than I could have imagined. Um, but as I was saying, we're going to inject some pace into this team. Milinkovic-Savage can really... 
hold that position. Luke, I l like having Savage there to come forward a little bit, but um, Alberto can come forward. Savage can have a little bit of a deeper role, which is f perfectly okay. He can still get off long shots, which he's best at um, in an attacking sense. So hopefully, you know, everything works out all right. Um, what's going on here? Accept that offer. That's weird. All right, I don't know what's going on, but this team has offered a little bit more money, actually, so we'll take it as we go. A bit more training. We're actually pushing up to the season, but we're not going to do that today. This video is already 20 minutes long, and we're going to keep rolling and rolling until... Um, until we get Carrasco in. If we get Carrasco in, then I'm just going to hold on to everyone else, mainly because just in case something happens, but once we get Carrasco and the center back, I do need a center back in as well. Um, let's go look at center backs. We've gotten the scout reports. Um, so, shouldn't be too, too bad. Not looking for anything major. 11 million, Deloitte, 10 million. They're all around the same mark. So maybe we can make up that money. But Carrasco is the major point. If I have to move someone like back into that spot on a kind of role that isn't suited for them just for a game or two, that's okay. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, Brewster goes nowhere. Perfect. And Bedelli should go. Once Bedelli goes, we're going to go in for Carrasco. Um, Palombi's gone. We're going to have a bit of wage budget as well. Hopefully Carrasco's aren't wild. Um, Marusic is in not going anywhere. And then Palombi's gone as well. Come on, Bedelli, get out of here so I can move in for Carrasco. There he is. We're done here. Perfect. Um... That's a shame, but he's gone. All right, so let's take a look at the transfer page here for a sec. But let me look at how much money we have. 63 million should be okay for this. Where's Carrasco? Carrasco. What's he on wage-wise? He's only on 23,000 in the game. That is weird, but his value's gone up a bit. And uh, I guess he's had a good preseason there. All right, let's see what we got here. We're just going to start with a 40 million pound offer. I've always enjoyed Carrasco in game. 54 million. So we're probably going to get him in a pretty decent spot actually. Let's try 45. 45 million, perfect. And we're going to have money to go ahead and bring in our center back as well and then nobody else is going to go unfortunately for Parolo he is stuck here isn't he crucial perfect five year contract except this is salary what do I do here I'm so nervous about where this can go I'm just going to give him a large signing bonus just in case he freaks out Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Why do they do that? He's only on 23000 a week. Ugh. Can I go back in and, like... I can go back in in two weeks, if I remember properly. I cannot believe that. Oh, that's so annoying. It really, really is because I have no way of telling what he could possibly want. Just, I hate that so much. Just, what do you want, bro? We could work with whatever you want. We really can. All right, so hold on. Where's the calendar here? In two weeks. All right, I'm going to sim the Bologna game, and we'll pretend it's our sim game of the episode. Because I really want to go back in for Carrasco. I cannot believe that's gone. 
on and happened. I'm going to try and get him after... Um, well, I'm going to try and get him right now. And then, if we have to, we'll sim this game. It's incredibly important to me that we, uh, <laughs> that we get Carrasco in. I'm really annoyed. Um, let's try that again. Where is he? Stop hiding from me, Carrasco. Approach to buy. 45. I'm just going to bid 45. I'm probably going to have to pay more knowing how this is going to go down, but... That is, <laughs> that's, a, that's about how I expected this to go. You can have any salon fee you'd like. Now we have to pay a little bit more. Frickin' Rafa Benitez is there. I completely forgot about that. Is he going to negotiate? Oh, he is going to negotiate. Thank you. Thank the Lord. Crucial. There you go. Four years. You're annoying. You're going to be annoying, Carrasco. No release clause except... What do you want? Just please tell me. Oh, thank the Lord. See, was that so difficult? Was that so difficult last time around? Now all of a sudden he's he's good to go. He's like, you know what? Fine. Here. This is what we want. Unbelievable. But we have bought in Carrasco. I thought that was about to be a humongous issue. And thankfully, it was not. What do I do here? I've got one too many midfielders here. All right, we'll do it this way. All right, so this is the starting team we are going to go with. Immobile, Correa, Sabitza in behind, Alberto, Milinkovic, Savage, and then Carrasco and Chiesa on the wings, and then Wallace, Sherby, Felipe, and then Strakosha in net. That is a pretty good-looking team, if I say so myself. Um, but then we are also, we got a little bit of money. We're going to go after a center back. I believe we have the money for a center. Yeah, we definitely have the money for a center back. So we are going to go ahead for the center back. We are not going to sim that game. Transfer hub, and we're going to bring a center back in. We'll try Toloi mainly because he's Italian. Oh, no, he's not. Well, he plays for an Italian club. Um, so we'll try it that way. 10 million and 12 million. We have the money for that. I'm not really concerned about what he feels in the way of um, how much playing times he's going to get because the answer is not much um, we'll just accept it because I'm, I'm not going to do too much with the money otherwise so it's not too big of a deal but after this deal nobody else is leaving the club and nobody is coming oh he only wants rotation too what a, look at, what a guy what a guy Four years, how about that? Is that fine? Perfect. No release clause except in negotiation. I want a release clause. That's fine. I don't care. Doesn't matter. No more money's going in and out of the club, and we're done. We are done in the market. How much money did we have left? Nine, yeah, we don't have a ton of money to do anything with anyway. So this is the squad. We're done here. We've got five really good center backs. Um. He's hurt, but he's the late option here. Um, midfield, we're pretty good. We've got th uh, one, two, three, four, five, because Barolo's not going anywhere now. Wingers, um, one, two, and then we've got our one, two, one, two. Perfect. We are perfect all over the place. And once Immobile is back, striker-wise, we're in a really good spot. Um, but for the moment, Caicedo, Correa will carry. Brewster will hop in behind. If need be, we will move Sabitza forward. Because Sabitza can play anywhere, really. Well, he can play Cam C. In real life, he started out on the wing. So I can play him wherever I want, really. Um, so, all in all, a very, very good window. Not too bad, guys. But I hope you folks have enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more. And peace.